Hey guys, it's Gomez Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining my channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more videos. And today I'm pretty excited because I actually reached 20,000 subscribers. I wanted to take the time to say thank you for joining my community. Thank you for helping me in reaching this new milestone. It really means a lot to me, and I really appreciate all the time that you spend by watching my content. I also wanted to basically walk you through my earnings. I wanted to walk you through everything that I've been doing for the last, you know, last 12 months, last 16 months, and then be able to help you in realizing what it takes to be a creator, what it takes to do what I do. So I'm gonna walk you through the analytics, some of the things that I do behind the scenes, as far as like how to generate revenue. So let's jump into my computer and start looking at it. All right, guys, so let me show you how the last 28 days and actually the last year has been for me in YouTube. I am really excited because every day I get to meet, you know, more people in my community. It's also a great opportunity for me to be able to teach what I know. So what I've been looking at is just, you know, looking at the statistics and I wanted to share these because I think if you, you know, if any of you is interested in doing what I'm doing, I think it helps to know how how this goes and and what it requires which you know requires a lot of work i'm not going to lie to you but i'm going to start by looking at my dashboard i'm going to be showing you everything you're going to be able to see how much i make you're going to be able to see you know how much i'm making in here in youtube also how much i'm making through patreon and then also some affiliate ideas that i've been experimenting with so the last video i showed you and i think i was making about 150 dollars a month in you know overall and that was after working on the youtube channel for about i think it was about eight months and it's been you know 16 months already so i doubled that and i think the the grow the grow has been incredible so as you can see i'm looking at the last 28 days and right now i have 20,075 subscribers in the last 28 days i grew a total of 1,333 new people and i also been growing everywhere like i have more views i have more watch time i have definitely more more revenue in the last 28 days i definitely been growing in, in you know in all social medias so youtube has given me the you know a big opportunity to grow and this is something that youtube just added recently this just shows the latest upload comparison to the previous one it shows down but i'm not really concerned because i just released this video this morning so these numbers are not really i mean they're accurate as of right now but those are going to be changing so as far as like other things that i want to show you i want to show you the analytics so i just show you the dashboard and there's a couple of things in here that are that are you know that i might raise the flag and you might say dylan we have 10 percent less on subscribers and yeah i mean that's that's okay i i know that over 28 days we have or i'm in december right now it's in december right now so a lot of people take vacations so this is not a real concern to me i know overall if i look at views 70,000 views on the last 28 days about you know 2,800 in 2, i guess 2.8 k on the watch time in hours subscribers you know 1.3 i have i also have you know estimated revenue over the last 28 days of 196 and 94 and and yeah i mean that doesn't seem like much and honestly it's, it, for the work that i that i put in it's not a lot but i think it's a it's a great way to realize that you know making money online takes a lot of work and and i'm also going to be showing you some of the other things that i'm that i'm making to raise that and at some point hopefully be able to do this you know and, and generate more money to be able to create games which is what i what i really want to do long term is just be able to do a youtube channel and also be able to sustain you know the income that i spend for my game so the the overall here i think i'm, I'm doing great i think oh, the overview seems really well this also shows some of my top videos you can see that my unity visual studio code setup it's been doing really well also ar foundation and i keep doing those because i really enjoy doing those oculus quest i think is one of the top videos and I'll, also of course the the tesla cyber truck was one of the videos that i that i did recently it's been doing really great and also some of the the visual effects graphs so on the on the real time i get about and this is average i normally get about 5100 and something views and in, in the last 48 hours sometimes i get more sometimes i get less i'm not really concerned about it but it's a really cool metric to look at the so i'm going to be showing you the the overall year but i'm going to start with 28 days and then we're going to go through from left to right 
So now if I look at the reach, I mean, this is huge. This is, you know, I have nine, almost, you know, almost a million impressions when it comes to, you know, how much exposure I'm getting in YouTube. I also look at the, the impression, the impression click, click through rate, which is good because as people, you know, clicking on my, on the ads or clicking on the different things that I put through the carts and also the views are doing great. I have 8%, 8% grow on the last 20 days, which is, you know, it's, it's incredible. Also, I have a lot of new people coming in. So 33,000 unique viewers. You can kind of see the graph over time, which is, you know, it's, it's actually looking really great. I'm, I'm really happy. The, the other thing that is super interesting is the traffic source types. You can see, you know, how much traffic I'm getting from YouTube search, how much traffic I'm getting from external. And you guys probably know that I'm in Twitter and I love tweeting. I love talking about what I'm making. So I'm sure I'm getting a lot of people from Twitter and also Facebook. So I'm always, I mean, every, I'm everywhere to be honest. And you have to be if you want to, you know, grow your channel. So channel pages, 9.9%. Playlist. This is just basically where that where where that traffic is coming from, and if I look at external, you can look at you know look at this, and you know that you know SEO is huge. So Google search is 70 77 percent of the traffic comes from Google. The other sources are Facebook, Reddit, and then for some reason I'm getting traffic from Tesla Club. I'm also getting traffic from GitHub because I open source a lot of my projects. You can see suggested videos, some of the videos that I am getting traffic from. Also, some of the keywords that people are searching for, AR Foundation is one of my top keywords in the last 20 days. It used to be Oculus, it used to be Dot Twin. So these are these vary depending on you know how hot something is. Honestly, on, uh, Unity Oculus Quest is pretty hot, especially because of the holidays. People want to get Oculus, they want to get set up on the on the development side. So that's why I'm, that that keyword is kind of trending. On some of the, the traffic sources on the playlist, my Unity AR Foundation tutorials for beginners, that one is the, the most popular one, and that's the one that I've been putting a lot of work. So this is one that I'm not, you know, I'm not surprised because I want to have a lot of variety of videos, Oculus Quest development, you know, and so on. So overall, I'm, I'm getting a lot of impressions, and, and this is this this graph right here, this pyramid, I guess upside pyramid, is it, really helpful because you can see that. You know, out of all these impressions, 11% from is from YouTube recommending my content, and I'm getting about 2.8 click-through rate, and and a lot of these has to do with you know how good your thumbnails are, your description is, and how catchy it is, and there's just a lot of variables that I'm still learning, but I try to make my thumbnails as good as I can, and I'm always looking at them and making sure that I'm improving them and. And you know, you, you start to get to know the you know what works or doesn't work. So I wouldn't really try to get it perfect the first time because honestly there's no perfect. It's just you know it's just repetition and that's what's gonna make it look better. So now I think that's for engagement. I think that's all I wanted to show you. Actually for reach. So now let's go into engagement and I can show you the engagement. So this metric is really important and this is one that I think YouTube looks at quite a bit because based on the YouTube wants you to you know to have people watching your content and stay in YouTube for for the most part and they don't want people to leave so you want to make sure that you try to increment this and it looks like six percent on the watch time is great the average view duration looks like it went down two percent on the but I'm not really concerned on the last 28 days like I said there's a lot of things happening in, in Christmas and even if I have a drop but this is growing I think overall it's okay you don't try not to a look at statistics every single day because otherwise you're gonna it's gonna drive you crazy but overall I'm pretty happy there and also look at the engagement on the on my top videos looks like people that are watching my oculus quest videos are staying there longer the unity visual studio co set up there and this is you know this is I, I'm not surprised by this because these are videos that people need to watch in order to accomplish something so you need to get going with the Unity Oculus Quest setup, so you need to watch this video. You want to get Visual Studio Code working well, you have to watch this video completely. The same thing with publishing a video for publishing an iOS application, you have to watch the entire video. So I'm not really surprised. These are videos that, you know, they they really last for a long time and they're gonna do great because people really need these. So I try to do a lot of videos like that that are really helpful, that are helping people accomplish, accomplish something. And I do a lot of experimentation videos that might not really help on something specific, but it might give you, you know, uh, inspiration of doing something else. So I try to vary between, you know, those two content types. 
I also look at top videos by end screen. These are really helpful. Top playlist, top end screen element types. So, you know, people are clicking on subscribe. That's very low. And that's, you know, that's that I'm not surprised there either because you don't really want to click on, on subscribe for the most part unless you really like the the YouTube, YouTube channel and then at that point. So so this number is going to be lower than these numbers and that's that's not a surprise. And then some of my top cards. So make sure that you're looking at engagement. Engagement is one of those metrics that, like I said, are really, really important to YouTube and also it should be really important for YouTube. So overall in the in the audience, I, I got, let's see, uh, I'm down 10%. And like I said, I'm not to worry about it, but it's been growing like crazy. Like every month I'm getting you know, a, a basically an average of about 2,000 people every month, which is, which to me is huge. Like I never expected my YouTube channel to grow in, you know, at this rate. So I'm pretty happy. So you can kind of see if I go over time, this is, you know, 1,700 people, 1,600 people. And then, you know, it's, it's an average of maybe about 1,700 every month. And then some other months I do better and some other months I do less. So it just varies, right? The other metric that I wanted to show you was the watch time from subscribers. So you can kind of see that a lot of people are not subscribed to my channel. So that's 73%. And then 22% of that watch time is from people that are subscribed. Also the gender, you can see 92%. I actually didn't have any females in my channel before. So this number is incrementing and I'm actually grateful for that. I want to get more variety, you know, more females and more, more males than, 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 than males, because I think we want to make sure that we were targeting our content to to everybody so it's really cool to, uh, to start to see females and looking at my content so the other thing that is really cool is looking at age like i said i also didn't have anybody that was that young and i'm starting to get some young people people from 18 to 24 20 28 percent 25 to 34 which is about my age range is 46 and i'm actually going to hit 35 so i'm not going to be in that bucket anymore <laughs> so anyway so 35 to 44 is 18 percent and then you know and so on so those are really important and the top countries united states is the top country that i'm getting more visits india is next and then germany and then united kingdom so the other thing that is really cool to to watch on the on the audience is the people that are the subscriber bell notifications who of my people my subscribers actually have the bell turned on so you can see subscriber who turn all notifications from your channel is about 10 percent subscribers who turn on all notifications from your channel and enable youtube notifications is 7.2 percent so these are really really important because if they have it turned on and they get a notification then that tells me that those people are going to be the ones that are watching your content right away so you want to look at those numbers and then you know start to get familiar with where you where you stand so the next piece which is one of the most important pieces too is you know revenue you want to make you know you want to make money you want to you want to expand your, you know, your brand and, and you need money to do that. So this is something, a metric that you have to watch. And and I'm and you might not see it like a lot, but it's actually a big growth from what I where I was last 28 days. So you can see that the estimated revenue for the last 20 days is 196.84. I also look at the estimated monetized payback, so you can kind of see that number, and then the playback pays CPM is 1342. Some of these metrics, I don't understand. I'm looking at these, but you know, over time, I'll probably start looking into what do they mean. But you're gonna see like every day I make about $6. Uh, some days I make $13, like this was my biggest day, I think. And then other days I make $8, but this is going, I mean, it's going up. I used, I was making about, you know, 30 cents before every day. Now it's like, you know, getting into the dollars. So that's not really my main metric. It's just something that you need to watch because if you wanna grow, you want to grow your brand you want to you know make more money and then you know use that money to invest in your own in your own youtube channel in in other ideas and you know you want to make money to do that so this is another thing that i also been looking at so you can see how i'm actually going to click on see more because i want to show you over time where i started and how that growth has been so the part that i want to that i want to show you let's see if we can look at yeah let's look at this so you can see in March, I was making 50, 56 cents. So if I would have looked at that and then that was my main motivator, I probably would have given, given up by then. We're going to see in March, I made 56 cents and then I went to $50, $67, $80, $86. And then I'm getting a 10% here increase, 12% increase. And then I got into 161. So that's a 16% increase. Then, you know, in November, I hit a 20% increase. 
So if you look at these numbers though, and you look at where I started, I started at 56 cents and now we're, look, we're looking at the hundreds. I think that's a huge improvement. And you kind of see here in the monthly estimated revenue, you know, July 86, like I was saying, and then November, I doubled that amount in, in let's see, in like five months. So, I mean, that it's that to me, it's a huge increase in the last six months. Kind of look at revenue sources where I'm making most of my money. So right now I'm making most of the money on, you know, on ad revenue, but I started doing memberships as well in YouTube and I made $12 with that. So it's just a matter of, you know, starting to look at other ways that you can monetize your channel and your content. So obviously memberships was turned on by YouTube. They provided a new way for creators to make money. So I turned on memberships and I'm basically offering people early access to source code, basically early access to videos, and then just letting them know about things that I'm not letting everybody know so that they can get, you know, their money, their, their money worth paying. So the, the next thing that I can also look at is, like I said, these $12 right here and 58 cents come from channel memberships. And that might not seem as much, but that is something that I just started it. So I think I have about five people right now and that's where that it's mostly coming from. And then this also shows you, you know, the top earning videos. Looks like my Unity Oculus setup is the one that is making most of the money. And then we fall into AR Foundation and then Visual Studio Code. So overall, I'm pretty happy with what I'm what I'm making right now. So what I want to show you is I want to give you a, a snippet of what how this looks for the last six, 365 days. And this is the graph that I really want to see, that I really enjoy seeing. And, and you can kind of see, I mean, overall, I'm getting, you know, over a thousand percent increase here on, on views, also on watch time, on subscribers. In the last, in the last 365 days, I have, I have gained 17,600 subscribers just in the last year. And then you're going to see my estimated revenue over the last year. And this is just keep going up and keep going up. And, and I think overall, it's just been exponential. So... I'm gonna just show you the, the top part because I think that, I think the, to me, this is really, really motivating. The, like I say, the reach, I have 7.3 million impressions. These are how many views I get. If I look at my engagement, engagement is over the, you know, it's going up. I'm getting an average of two minutes and 20 seconds on the, on the average view duration. Watch time is going up over a thousand percent. The audience, like I said, is going up like crazy. And then revenue, obviously, is going up because my views are going up and also my engagement is going up. So the the other question that I have from people, okay, Dilmer, you make money in, in YouTube. You're not making enough money. Is that enough to, to live? And, and, it, and it's, it is, no, it's not the main motivator to, you know, to, to do what I do because of money, but I want to make more money. And because I want to be able to do this, you know, full time one day, either through making games and also making YouTube videos. So... Another way that I've been making more revenue is also implementing Patreon, and Patreon has been doing really great. And I'm just gonna show you a snippet of the income that I'm making in, in Patreon. And the reason why I'm making money in Patreon is because I'm any anything that I'm making, any projects that I'm making, and open sourcing to open sourcing to the community. And this might might seem like a lot of money for some people, it might not seem like a lot. And if you're a software engineer, you know that this is not a lot of money a month, but it's a really good help. Like I mean this is great for me to be able to use this money towards growing my brand. So I have 85 people right now and I'm generating 393 people. When I started in Patreon, I wasn't generating much money. I think I was making about $5 a month. And then I started open sourcing everything and then just basically offering more value to the community. And that's, I think that's paying back because I'm getting a lot more people subscribing in Patreon. So if we look at my earnings up to date right now, you can, let's go ahead and look at one year because I think it's helpful. So I started in January, January I didn't get anybody, February I didn't get anybody, March I didn't get anybody, and I started to get more people in April. So you're gonna see April I got $38, then we went to May $69, and then June 70, and it's just been going up and up and up like crazy. So if you look at what, when, you know, when I started, I started with zero, and then April was 38, and then right now we're at 336. And this is what I, this was the month of December, but just know that if I look at Patreon right now, this is what I would get paid on my on the next paycheck. It will be 393. So if maybe that will be about 430 based on the growth that I have right now. And we haven't ended the month yet. We're in December 18. So I think I'm going to have about $425 by the time that it ends. So if you take that and then you take the amount that I'm making 
in in YouTube, then you know that started it starts to add up. And I think that's that's the key is you want to look at other ways that you can you know help the community, bring value, and then I'm using YouTube, I'm using Patreon, I'm also using Unity affiliates. I will be showing you that in another video, and also using Amazon affiliates. So overall, I'm pretty happy, and I really appreciate all the time that every single one of you have expanded by looking at my channel. I'm gonna be pushing a lot more content. And I think I'm gonna be doing another video like this when I reach my next milestone, which might be either the 30,000 subscriber milestone or my 50,000 subscriber milestone. So thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get some additional questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.